Let's play that game. Get James a video for his channel. Love that game. Such a good game, isn't it? 2019 Premier League clubs calendar year ranking tier list with my old boy, Flavla. So I've got the 20 clubs here and the, uh, the different tiers are as stated now. At the bottom, we've got total mess. They've had a total mess of a 2019. Not good enough is the next one. As expected, <laughs> stellar. They've had a stellar year and then they've had a year that will go down in history. Jim, is this for Premier League form only? No, it's like their whole their whole calendar. Taking year, everything whole in. Whole calendar, year, bring everything. it all in, digest all right. it, put it out of the flav bumhole onto this video, <laughs> giving them um, what they want. Okay. So uh, we can keep this quick fire. It's, yeah. it's, you know, we can do that. Um, but you know, give me give me a best for ten minutes, and I'll never ask you to do something like this again. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Lovely. It's a fair trade. All uh, right. So we're starting with. Do you, I mean? Shall I just go for it? Right. Let's Start go. The bomb. Start at the bottom. Now we're now we're here. Uh, let's go with what from the Premier League annual table. We'll go from that. Uh, so there's a couple of teams obviously got relegated, so they're not there. Huddersfield and Fulham have had crap years and are in the Championship now. Norwich. Let's go Norwich. Let's kick off with Norwich. Oh well, they've had a great year. Yeah. They've had a great year. They've come up. I, I wouldn't put them in. You know, I, I would. You know, they weren't expected to come up when they did come up. They played some lovely football. They yeah. lost Madison. Lost Madison. No, no one really expect, <laughs> expected the Norwich to, to to do what they did, and they come up. You know, first time of asking. Do you know what, Jack Reeve, I saw one of his tweets yesterday. He said, "I'm really sorry to say it, guys, but we're just not good enough for this level." I like with the guy. I really yeah, like this bunch of players. Blah blah blah. But yeah, Norwich at the start of the year in January. No, they were sort of. They probably were top around that period of time. But that season, they weren't expected to be in the Premier League. They are currently in the Premier League, which is great. So I don't think it was as expected. So will it go down in history? They're a bit of a yo-yo club. Um, but it's definitely it's a stellar year. The problem, it's a stellar year. And the problem with Norwich is that their home form has been the main main issue. And, and that's why, how you get such a reactive. Uh, no, Jack Reeves is being reactive because... And, and, and he's, from, upset. he's upset. He's upset. He's upset. And, and and but he's also witnessing all of the terrible form. You know, at, at, at home they've been bad, bad. At away they've been pretty bad. But they've, they've more or less held their own. And I thought against Arsenal, actually, I thought they they were very unlucky. But what's happened to the Pookie party? I thought that was a thing. Yeah. Well, that's it. I think the the, the squads. The Is squads that party been raided? Is that party party been raided? He'll continue to score goals, but he probably doesn't get enough chances. But as a whole for the year, if you'd said to him in January. You'll be in the Premier League. Yes. That will be a stellar year for me. So I'm going to put them stellar. Is that okay? Oh, that's fine. That's fine. That's great. I didn't think you'd have a problem with that. Let's stay. Let's go Everton. They got, they're finishing the year with Ancelotti as their manager. That is a good thing. It means nothing until some, he does something. Can, I know, can I just say, I don't think it will work. Nor me. Nor me. <laughs> and, I, and it's hard to... Because he's, he has done it all, Jim. Yeah. He has done it all, isn't he? Um, but... I I got the same feeling. I feel like at this point in his career, he's phoning, he's working. Yeah, he's like he's like Capello at the end. He's got nothing to prove. It feels like a personal appearance. As you know, will you come down and sort of just wave to wave to the people? Yeah, yeah, I can come down yeah, I'll, I'll for, like, do that. for a sizable fee. I, I it's probably it, that's thing. I, I struggle to articulate because you there's an easy spin in terms of any fan going. He's done this, that, this, that. But I just feel like, in my experience, people that go from like the top clubs and then have to sort of drop down. And I look, Everton are a huge club, but they're they're not Real Madrid. They're not doing very well. They've got a really unbalanced, weird squad. He's going to have to deal with all that stuff. Apparently, there's a clause in his contract about uh, not getting relegated. Like I don't think he's ever had that at AC Milan or Real Madrid or whatever it is. So I just got a bad feeling about that. But so yeah. Everton, in terms of the calendar year, though, silver hasn't worked. They thought they turned the corner in the set, in probably in the first half of this calendar year. But it, I swear to you, mate, literally every year around November, Everton's manager gets sacked. I swear we've done that video like six, seven times. It's ridiculous. Yeah. yeah. So it's again, it's more of the same. So more of the same. Yeah, nothing's changed. 
Is it not good enough or as expected? As expected. As expected, <laughs> which is sad in itself, isn't it? Really? It is. It, it's tough. It's yeah. tough. Uh, Brighton. I, I would say uh, just a bit above. A bit above. What's the first? What's the, what's the second tier? The second tier is Stella. Oh, what's as, the middle? As, as expected. That's quite a lot. A big jump. Isn't it is it? a big jump. It is. A what's big the top jump. one? It's part of the fun. Uh, we'll go down in history. Oh. Um, I would say Stella then for Brighton. Uh, they've done made some absolutely bold moves. They've brought in Graham Potter from abroad, obviously very English sounding manager, and he kind of you'd assume you'd assume that he'd dead plucked him from Barnet's academy. <laughs> but actually, he's 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 schooled and, and learned his his career elsewhere, and they play really good football, and he's got some great results. And you can't say anything about them other than. They should be relatively excited for the future. Yeah, I know what you mean. I reckon I'd let's you know we don't need to take too long on that one. I think it's as expected because the points wise they're not flying, but I think overall they're they're probably quite they're pleased that they're still in the league and they are. I think I agree with you. I think they are probably moving in the right direction. So as expected, uh, Chelsea <laughs> they've won Whoa. a European trophy in the Champions League. They've had a good year, you know. They yeah. ticked every box that they were supposed to. And at the start of it, when um, Sarri's the manager, everyone sort of hates him. But you basically got all the trophies and the kudos, and then you you swapped him out for a hero. Didn't replace Hazard, and they're more or less competing on the level. And remember, Sarri had left them in a pretty bad position, although he had won the league. Went, and they'd finished third, hadn't they? Yeah, so uh, that's what I mean. He's like he's been able to tick all the boxes. Actually, I think you could say if say Mount becomes world class, Abraham becomes world class, Tamori becomes it. world class, that this season could go down in history for him. No, you mad? I thought you were going the other way. Well, well, if it goes, if it's a uh, well, the thing is, it won't be a total mess because now they can buy players again, so they're getting away with it in that sense. But in terms of like a. It says like the wholesome feeling for a football fan of that club. They've been able to get a trophy, beating a London rival, finish, uh, win the champ, uh, finish in the Champions League places, which is all they were asked for anyway. Stella, got rid of Stella the Deadwood. Stella season. You're not having, you're not having to go down in history. All right, no, fine. St- uh, Stella okay. season. Um, but yeah, I think they need a proper manager. They haven't had. They haven't. They, they've done all. They've had all the managers though. They've had them all. Yeah, completed it. Oh, so. Who are they going to get in now? Nagelsmann or, or Den Haag? <laughs> yeah, cool. Nagelsmann's probably the next one. But then again, uh, that's too rogue for them. Anyway, let's uh, let's knock off a few here that I think are a touch boring and are as expected. And just tell me if you disagree. Burnley, as expected. Yes. Palace. So if you look at that Premier League annual table, Palace are eighth, you know. 53 points. Not bad. I think they've had a... I was chatting to a Palace fan yesterday and he was saying that he just kept going. He just kept going. He was drunk. He kept going. Stability. Stability. <laughs> Hodgson. No, you don't get rid of it. No. Ten years of this. It's just You just take it. Stability. And he's, <laughs> he's, that's true. I agree. I think they've had a stellar, stellar year. I would go as far as saying that. All right. Top, top eight. Uh, Southampton. Hmm. Um, the next one down. Not good enough. Not good enough. No. And I, I asked Harson Hall has had uh, some opportunity to embed in that squad, yeah, and they've had a really couple worked. of they've had a couple of good results. Uh, good result against Villa, but that's another a, a promoted side. So, you know, a fixture when you look at it at the start, you'd think points there. Yeah. Um, Did you, I think people have they they but, had like five <laughs> six good years, didn't they? But if you remember Southampton before that. They were always down the bottom and crap. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, I mean, they're, yeah, they're, their academy really sustained them over yeah. the last 10 years, really. That's true. Uh, and uh, it's a shame for a club like them to produce that many good players and just be picked apart. But we are where we are. And, you know, three points above re- relegation at Christmas time. That's And, and it started the season with this manager, highly rated. It's not, not good, good enough. Not he's good, he's, he's not, not good enough, good enough. Him, it. it's not good enough. Lovely. Bournemouth. As expected, a little bit, a little bit disappointed with Bournemouth. It feels like they're kind of starting to regress a little bit. Like, like maybe the messages are not getting through to the players anymore. Maybe Eddie Howe isn't the Messiah of the South Coast. Mm. 
Maybe that tin little tin pot little football club needs to fuck off out. Of, oh, can we say that on your channel? I'm not sure. Yeah, you can say that. It's fine. Tin pot little football club needs to fuck off out of the Premier League and let the big big boys at it. Right. Let Leeds back up. If you, no, could, if you could, do, my good lord. Listen, listen to that me. It's the most irritating sentence. Jim, Jim. Yeah. You asked me on here. I'm going to yeah. give my opinion. Yeah. Right? Got you. Got you. Just replace that tin pot little football club with a proper football club like Leeds. Yeah. Bring them in, in into the Premier League. Make the Premier League a better product. Do you enjoy that? Yeah, because I think that's how football works. You should be you should be rewarded on the the amount of people that come through a door. <laughs> <laughs> um, total me- We haven't got any will go down in history or total messes. So Liverpool, I'm Liverpool ch- Liverpool's will one hundred percent go down in history. Let's do that. Give it to them. Liverpool, okay. incredible. Okay. Well, One of the champions. I was, te- I was teasing that to the end, Flav, but you said it now. Yeah, but I they know. It is a waste. Of, yeah, that is a waste. Of, there's no way you can say they are world champions. They are probably going to be Premier League champions. They are. European champion. Europe. They've they've done struggled, struggled in the domestic cups though, haven't they, Flav? Struggled <laughs> in the domestic cups. Yeah, uh, pumped five 0 by Villa. Great to see. Final. Love to see that. But uh, yeah, it doesn't really matter, does it? They uh, uh, yeah, absolute incredible season. They literally couldn't. It, it can't get any better. Here's a question for people in the comments, right? So, are you can have this year, or you can just have the Premier League next year? Which one do you want? What do you mean? So you're not world champions, you're not champions of Europe. That's two trophies, but you get the Premier League. Would you swap the two for the one? So if you're guaranteed those two trophies, but you don't win the Premier League or win the Premier League and give up those two. Yeah, basically well, one swap of them, this year for next year, but you only win the Premier League. One, one of them literally doesn't matter. The world world champions, you're playing against fucking Monterey and Flamengo, the two teams that probably Huge wouldn't clubs. even... Huge clubs. Yeah, they, they'd probably be relegated in the Premier League, so it's not a big... It's, it's not a. They're that no is, Leeds United, that's... are they? They're no Leeds United. No, and um, uh, so I would say it's whether you're saying Champions League or, or the Premier League. And the Champions League, they've won five times, six times now. So I think the Premier League is what they really, really desperately want. But you know, they don't have to pick because they're going to have it all. Yeah, it makes me sick. I think it will go down in history. That little hint, do you know what the, a big sign that your club's doing it well is when your captain's got his own sort of trophy lifting style. Where he faces the players and goes tap 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 tap, and then turns around and goes. Ah. He's done that because he's, uh, he's 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 lifting enough trophies to do that. So that's pretty good. Uh, it's amazing how someone bang average as Henderson has, has managed to lift that many trophies. But what do I know about football? Wolves. Wolves. Stella. 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 I absolutely love Nuno. Yeah. Love the way he plays football. Weird that he's a goalkeeper, but adds to his mystique. Yeah, great beard. Uh, great great beard. I yeah, read a really up. interesting article in 442 about them and it sounds like they're as much as they've obviously got the money that they they've used it really really smartly like in every aspect they call it um they've called the sort of the whole wall stadium and everything like a house of football and they like they really like break down everything into like really sort of smart compartments and, oh wow! Well, uh, I'd like to read that. Yeah, it's interesting. And like they've, with the amount of games that they've played, the, the, the fact that they don't change, and a lot of those players came up from the championship. He's really like developed a lot of those players. Like some of them cost a lot. Neves cost a lot. Jota <laughs> cost a lot. You know, but they're sort of mixed with between those and Connor Cody and Doherty. Like Doherty was playing in Liga one with them, I think. Dave, like he's yeah, he's amazing. A, it's great acquisition and great coaching. Yeah, all you need. Uh, West Ham. Uh, Have a look at the Premier League table. As, as Mid is. table, thirteenth. As expected. Points. As expected. Supposedly, Burnley, Newcastle, Palace have all had better years than them. Newcastle. So Newcastle. Let's talk about them. Yeah. Okay. Stella. 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 Stella year. Yeah. Especially and all down Off to Bruce. Yeah. All down to Bruce. He's getting results. A little Brucey bonus there. What? He's done very well. And you, if he, when he came in, you'd think, oh my god! Like, is there a more uninspiring managerial decision than than for Newcastle to bring in Steve fucking Bruce? And he's come in to his credit and nailed it. I, I quite firmly predicted that they would get relegated this season. I thought it was just really obvious, but they are yeah. hanging in there at the it's moment. Not, this is like, where my tier list falls down a little bit because I've but they're not hanging in there. Team. They're ninth in the league. That's mad. So what are you going Stella, right? This is as I say, this is where the tier, this is where the tier list falls down a bit because they need something in between Stella and expected. But at the Stella. start of the season, if they finish top ten, that is a stellar season. Well done. That, to Newcastle. Oh, hang on, we're talking about New, we're talking about Wolves be having a stellar season. Newcastle two points behind them. Who's had a stellar season there? Yeah, I don't know what they're Wolves. moaning about. Wolves. 
Uh, let's get someone on the total mess scale. Uh, Watford. Arsenal. <laughs> we'll come back to Arsenal. We'll talk about Arsenal in a sec. Watford. Utter yeah. mess. Although, they got some cup final. Doesn't matter. They're going down. Utter mess. Yeah. Utter, utter mess. And Terrible. Their, their, uh, their points this season is pretty woeful. Where are they? 31 points in 35 games this calendar year. Not good enough. Total mess. Uh, mess. Spurs. Hmm. What's the one below? So, um, here you go. It, right. Different, different tiers. Right. We'll go down in history. Made a Champions League final. No. Stellar year. Made a Champions League final. Yeah. That we, no. As expected. No. It's highs and lows. Not good enough. Not good enough. Total, Not total good mess. Enough. Total mess. She's going, oh, 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 oh. Mourinho, take the money. Save this sinking ship. Yeah. All, exactly. all good reasons for every tier there. I would say total mess. Total mess. The Champions League run was incredible and enjoyed every minute of it. But It would go down in history, wouldn't it? The run will. But you can't. That's like five games. <laughs> yeah. The, the the whole thing was a mess. You look at our average points picked up in the last year. It must be what 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 are we at? Uh, ninth. Nine, nine, fifty-two. Yeah. That is poor for you guys, actually. It's poor, and, you know. But then, like, why why were we supporting football clubs? It's to get to the Champions League finals. You'll remember that year. You'll remember 2019. That's when we got to the Champions League final. We'll go down in history. We lost. I don't. Okay. We lost. Right, you're what, where do you want it? Not good enough. Our agony just came a lot later than others. That's all that happened. Got to the final. So it where, hurt. Where do you want to go? Where do you want to go? So, I want to go to disappointed. Not not good enough. Not good enough. Okay. Sheffield United. It's fucking stellar year. It'll go down in history. Go down in history. They're playing Chris Fodder. Who is he? Never heard of him. Never heard of him. Comes to the Premier League, dick, serving up loads of dick. Yeah. Good. They're Good. Absolutely turn it up. It's yeah, they have, and they're difficult. They're difficult. Like we drew against them, and it was like, "Fuck, right, that game's over." Really? They're great. They're great. Yeah, I remember watching that one actually. Proper Northern Steel. Do you know what, as well? Like it, it gets forgotten that they're just you know they, these players are playing in the Premier League now, so you're impressed in the Championship. That squad's that's that's not a squad that you expect to go up. Really? It's like a it's a it's a squad that finishes eighth. Really? Yeah, like Billy Sharp's I, I, fine, McGoldrick's but, fine. Can't, Billy Sharp, I've kind I heard of before he came up. I couldn't tell you another Larson. No, no, it's not even, not even Larson, is it? Midfielder. Doesn't matter. Yeah. Doesn't matter because the system. Lundstrom, you meant? I think. Lundstrom, him, him, yeah. But Lundstrom the, didn't even play last season. He got like he played like ten games last season. Lundstrom, I was speaking to two Sheffield United lads, cracking boys, because you expect salt of the earth from the north, and they. Of course. Um, and they said Sit on when, their hands. <laughs> when 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 Lundstrom got his opportunity when they're in League One, they had one of their main midfielders got a cruciate or a bad injury, and Lundstrom they're like, "Fuck, what are we going to do now? How are we going to get out of this division with Lundstrom in a, as our centre midfielder?" And Lambi Hyde is doing very very well in the Premier League. Just goes to show it's not <clears throat> it isn't always about the players, but it's about everything coming together. Yeah, he's, yeah, they've smashed it, absolutely smashed it. Uh, right, some big clubs here. Aston Villa. I'd say Stella, although they are in the bottom three currently. Yeah. They, I would say... They were, ex- were they expected to come up? Probably were, were they? the squad that they had. What are saying? Yeah, I wouldn't say Stella. I think as expected. Just They have just pumped Champions of Europe 5-0. Yeah, but it was their under-14s, wasn't it? Was it? Yeah. It's just what you believe. You believe whatever you think. I'm going to go as expected. They are in the semi-final of the League Cup. Let's see if they can get to a final. But that's next year. Right. That's next year. All okay. right. Final four. Here we go. Uh, Man City. Uh, go down in history. Yeah. It's a record points total. Yeah. No one's ever won it with more points. It will go down in history. Yeah. It will go down in history. That was easy. All right. Fair enough. Uh, Leicester City. Stella. Yeah, can't the only the only reason it wouldn't go down in the history is because they won the league four years ago. If it wasn't for that, this would be one of the, probably the greatest ever season of their their entire existence of the football club so thus far. I think they've Since, got the three third highest points, more than Chelsea, Man United, Arsenal, Spurs, sixty three points. 
and they're the only legitimate challenger to Liverpool this year. Yeah, and and they're not going to do it. But you know that just shows you how good good a side they are. I, I you know they, it's such an exciting time again for Leicester fans. Got a great manager in Brendan Rodgers. They've got a really really good squad. The best squad on paper outside of the top five, top six, but in reality a top four squad undoubtedly. Yeah, I yeah I think it's only snobbery would make you think that it's now not a top seven. And even at Arsenal, you know, well, let's talk Arsenal now, right? So, Leicester Stella, obviously. Arsenal, where would you put them? I would put them as a... Not good enough, is it? So, I, I mean, certainly... It's certainly not Stella. Certainly not going to go down in history. It's a good season. Did we expect all of this? No, we didn't expect it to be this bad. So, no. it's at very best, it's not good enough. Uh, no, it's, but it's it's not good enough. But yeah, it's not it's not a complete shambles because you know what, actually they're eleventh. It's pretty bad. More points, My, more points than Spurs. Or oh, you're talking about points more in the league in the calendar year. Yeah, but you remember Spurs hadn't won an away game since February. Like we were, we've been terrible. Mm. Spurs isn't a great barometer. Yeah. Um, not good enough. I think I think even Arsenal fans would agree with me there. It's it's not been good enough. Yeah. Do you know what I would say that like they obviously it's a it's a stick to beat them with now, but they sort of claim that they won the transfer window. And so like but at with the information that they had at the time, they they sort of did what they they thought they'd done well, basically. So I don't think you can like sometimes in hindsight, okay, these things go wrong, but in terms of like those those terrible decisions at the time, I think we I think you still think that some of those players were a good call. David Luiz was always like a risk. But then I, I, I think the only thing that saves it from being a total mess for me is is Arteta is signing getting getting Emery out and getting Arteta in someone who I think is going to excite that entire club um, and is what, what makes you think that though? I what, think what? he's going to do really well. Yeah, but what I uh, does he? I, I'm not saying he doesn't. I, I I think if he's given time, which no one never seems to be given them now. He, that he may be, come to be a good manager. But my gut feeling, and we don't know, we don't know, he could come in and turn it all up and they're, they're flying two weeks from now, right? My gut feeling is he doesn't strike me as a man with the gravitas to manage the egos that currently exist there. And I'm specifically talking about Aubameyang and, and Lacazette, who have uh, already said, apparent uh, rumours coming out saying they want to leave. It, it's, a, it's a gamble, it's a gamble. I think they would prefer Jose Mourinho. I, uh, maybe. I think we will be talking about Arsenal in a year's time. So say if you gave Emery another year or you give Arteta this job and give him a year, I think in a year's time we'll be talking about their calendar year and saying there's been a lot of improvement there. Yeah, maybe I right. I think he's a really smart guy. I think it's a good acquisition. He fits. That's why like, Ancelotti doesn't feel like it fits for me. I don't feel like they're growing together. I think Arteta can grow with that that team, and I think he'll get rid of a lot of them actually. Um, yeah. So uh, not good enough. Not good enough. Not good enough. Not good enough. And finally, Man United. Yes. As expected, with Ole, he's, he's scored. He's, he's got some couple of um, decent results in there. It feels like they're kind of turning. Do you think? It kind of does, but that's only on the back of the Man City and Spurs game. You know, and, you know, there's a spirit that they showed to turn around that game against Sheffield United. Good Sheffield United team. Shows that the, the players are playing for him. But you just look at the squad and you're thinking, Is that Man that's Man United. <clears throat> I kind of hope, Man, as a neutral, I kind of hope Man United do well because I like that they've stuck by him. Yes, I think I think like the media can often smell blood, and like I think it's got to a point where they're going, well, look, they're not going to they're not going to sack him, so just yeah. never really, like calm down. Um, and I think that's sort of, like you say, it does feel like they're turning the corner slowly, and those sort of younger players are actually becoming really good players. Um, yeah, they are still miles off. So yeah, I think the best we can offer is as expected. Yep. Wicked. Well, there you go. Hey. All right. Thanks, mate. No worries. Pleasure. Only one total mess this year. So everyone, can you just shut up with the moaning? <laughs> That's what I would say. Um, that brings the end of our Skype, mate, I think. All right, then. Uh, I love you very much. Love I don't you know too. if I'll see you again, ever. I'll ring, I'll ring you uh, I, I'll ring you on... Um, 
for Christmas Day. <laughs> so what, is you... what is it? <laughs> what is it? Christmas Day. Just... Well, I was reading an email at the same time. So. Yeah, lovely. Um, <laughs> mate, love you to bits. I'll, uh, I'll see right. you soon. Um, thank you to all of our patrons. Appreciate it. Well, hang on. Um, what's... I thought this was going out on your channel. But Yeah, but it's, it's part of the Skype. It's both. Get both. Oh, right. They get all of it. So they're sitting there for about an hour, are they? If they want to. All right. Bye, Jim. Bye, mate. Bye, everyone.